All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, in less than seven hours from now, the Dokkan Fest AGL Kid Gohan banner will be dropping on the global side of the game. And in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick preview of his animations, his kit, the new category, the banner, and basically everything you need to know about this release to help you guys decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned dragon stones to try to pull him, or instead save them for something else in the future. So, with all that said, let's uh, jump right into it. But before we talk about what this Gohan actually does, let's start by watching his animations. So let me just pause my music here, and we will full screen this. And uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, there's no sound. Okay, one sec. Turn up the sound a bit. And here we go. All right, so there you have it, the animations for both Garlic Jr. as well as the Gohan. Now, obviously, I've seen these uh, quite a few times at this point, but uh, I gotta say, I do really like their animations. Um, the Garlic Jr., I think, looks great for a side unit, like not the Dokkan Fest. And, you know, this being the first ever Garlic Jr. in the game, I do think they uh, did him justice. And then for the Gohan... Uh, very clean animations as well, you know, nothing too insane, nothing too crazy, but still very, very nice. So uh, there you have it. Now, one thing I did notice, actually, is kind of weird. Doesn't matter too much, but they don't put any music behind these global previews, you know, like for the, the JP previews, they always have like the theme for that unit playing in the background during the, the, the animations, right? So I don't know what that's all about, but... Like I said, not a huge deal, but you could maybe say that it's a global shaft. Anyways, moving on, <laughs> moving on to the Gohan. Let's uh, see what he does. So leader skill is Heavenly Events, which is a brand new category, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 170%, or Bond of Master and Disciple, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 150%. So let's see what this Heavenly Events category actually looks like. And based on the uh, description on the Dokkan Wiki, it consists of characters who have fought or trained on Kami's lookout. Okay, so the main leader we have, of course, is the AGL Kid Gohan. We have two sub-leaders, the new Garlic Jr., as well as this uh, Piccolo that Dokkan awakens into a Piccolo and Krillin. And then we also have uh, some other units here, which I'm not going to, you know, go over in too much detail, but you guys can take a look for yourselves. Um, as a category overall, I gotta say, man, Heavenly Events is not awesome. Um, it's a little bit wonky. It's a little bit whack, to be honest. Uh, it's not like you can't put together a decent team here, but let's just say it's a good thing that Gohan leads two categories, because if it was just Heavenly Events, then it wouldn't be too good you know and there's a reason why it's 170 percent across the board uh for the leader skill because the category is uh a little bit on the weaker side you know like I'm, obviously there's good units in here like the super vegeta um you know super saiyan 3 go tanks is quite good uh the new gohan himself of course is solid of course lr agl gohan but you know with that said it's just kind of limited and um, I don't love it. 
I gotta, I gotta be honest, I don't love it. But, like I said, he does lead Bond of Master and Disciple, which is a very good category, so you can kind of combine these two and, uh, you know, do like a hybrid of Heavenly Events and Bond of Master and Disciple if you want to run him as a leader, right? So, that's the leader skill. Uh, regular Super Attack raises defense and causes immense damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy, which is a 30% uh, chance. And then for his unit super attack, full power Masenko uh, raises defense greatly. Actually, no, they're both full power Masenko. I just realized. Okay, so anyways, unit super attack raises defense, greatly raises attack for one turn, and causes immense damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy, which is a 50% chance instead of a 30% for the regular super. And the activation for his unit super attack activated when there is an ally whose name includes Piccolo, Demon King, uh, Piccolo, and Majin Buu excluded, or Krillin, youth excluded, on the team. Passive is defense plus 158%, attack plus 158% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 58% when there is another heavenly event category ally attacking in the same turn, plus an additional attack plus 58% and stuns enemies attacked uh, by the character super attack within the same turn after receiving an attack. All allies keep plus 3 and defense plus 58%. And then his active skill is Light Shield. Recovers 30% HP, guards all attacks for one turn, and all allies defense plus 20% for two turns. And it can be activated when HP is 58% or less once only. Links are the Innocents, Demonic Ways, Saiyan uh, Warrior Race, All in the Family, Saiyan Lineage, Gaze of Respect, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Goku's Family, Youth, Bond of Master and Disciple, Planetary Destruction, and Heavenly Events. And there are some calculations here that we can take a look at. His additional attack plus 58% is calculated separately at the start of turn for a total boost of attack plus 307.64% when there is another Heavenly Events category ally in the same turn and attack plus 399.28% after being attacked. So obviously he does have quite a bit of offensive potential, but the area where this unit really shines is on defense. As you can see, he gets a lot of defense on his passive, and he also has that ability to stun a lot, right? So like, the regular super has a 30% chance, the, or sorry, the, yeah, the regular super has a 30% chance, the unit super attack has a 50% chance, and then for his passive, he also gets guaranteed stuns when you get attacked first, right? So, hold on, let me just uh, quickly read this. It's an additional 50% stuns the enemy's attack by a character super attack within the same turn. Yeah, okay, so just making sure I read that correctly. Yes, guaranteed stuns after you take a hit first. So all that combined along with his active skill, which recovers 30% HP, guards all attacks, and also increases allies defense by 20% for two turns. He also has the defense support. So overall, just a really, really amazing defensive unit. His offense... Um, can be good, like I said, but he's not going to hit as hard as maybe you would hope for or you would think based on some of these calculations here. Okay, so from what I've seen, you know, he's getting somewhere in the range of like 3 to 4 million pretty comfortably, but uh, nothing really too much beyond that. Maybe like 4 or 5 if you have some supports and stuff like that, but he's not really meant to be... A super impressive offensive unit so he's got the damage you know he will, he will do some damage for you don't get me wrong but he's way way more impressive from a defensive perspective so the way I like to think about him is defense first and then offense secondary you know which is which is fine I think um, I think a lot of people get too focused on the offensive side of things and uh, you know just because a unit hits really hard doesn't mean they're necessarily a really good unit, and if a unit doesn't hit that hard, it doesn't necessarily necessarily mean that they're a bad unit, you know what I mean? So I think this Gohan kind of falls in that category where he hits pretty hard, but not super hard, but he makes up for it on defense, in my opinion, once again. And of course, I also forgot that he, or forgot to mention, that he raises defense with every super, right? So he stacks defense every single turn, so... Yeah, he's really, really tanky. Like, he's stupidly, stupidly tanky, especially in those longer events. So, that's the Gohan for you there. Obviously, his leader skill, um, especially his heavenly events 
uh, category, which is the new category he brings into the game, is not great, as I said, so it's not like you should really summon for him for his leader skill alone, you know, like you don't need him for a leader skill, if that makes sense. And yeah, we'll leave it there for the Gohan. Overall, I do really like him, but I think some people might be turned off by some of the damage numbers that he puts out, okay? So, after that, let's talk about this Garlic Jr., which uh, actually, from what I've seen, is getting more love <laughs> than the Gohan at average, you know? So, his leader skill is Heavenly Event, Category Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%, uh, Super Attack greatly raises attack and causes supreme damage, and then Passive is attack and defense plus 160%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 60% and medium chance of stunning the enemy when attacking super class enemies. Extreme class allies keep plus 3, attack and defense plus 40%, recovers 10% HP at the end of turn in which an attack was received. Links are demonic ways, metamorphosis, big bad bosses, revival, thirst for conquest, nightmare, and fierce battle, and categories are resurrected warriors, transformation boosts, dragon ball seekers, time travelers, terrifying conquerors, revenge, and heavenly events. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, this guy is really, really strong, man. He's really strong for a side unit. 160% attack and defense right off the bat, and then 60% more in medium chance to stun when attacking super class, so that's 220% right there. And then extreme class Q plus 3, attack and defense plus 40%, so he's supporting the rotation, but also giving himself additional 40% attack and defense, right? And he also recovers 10% HP at the end of turn in which attack was received, so he's also a healer. And he also greatly stacks attack with every single super, so he's hitting harder and harder as the event goes on. He also has big bad bosses, which is amazing. And um, yeah, you know, I understand why this guy gets a lot of love, and he should, because once again, for a side unit, you know, for a non Dokkan vest, like if this guy had better stats, um, I've said this before, if this guy had better stats, he could potentially be a Dokkan Fest unit if they gave him like a, an active skill or, or something else that made him a little bit more unique. Then he would definitely be good enough, in my opinion, to be a Dokkan Fest unit. The only thing that's really holding him back is the fact that he does have the side unit stats, right? So 12,811 is his max attack and 11,271 defense, which is actually really good. Hold on. Let me see uh, how much defense the Gohan gets. Uh, look at that, 11,753 is the max attack, or max defense rather, for the Gohan. And Garlic Jr. has 11,271, so that's pretty good, man. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Only thing, I guess, holding him back is the attack then. Um, if he had like 17 or 16,000 attack, just imagine what this guy could be doing, right? But anyways, very, very good. And, hold on, what is this song? Oh, it's the full power Jiren. Let me just switch it up a little bit. Let's do... Let's do Tech LR Gogeta. There we go. Okay, so now let's talk about the banner. And, uh, honestly, this banner... It's just kind of meh to me. Um, obviously, you know, different people need different things. So, like, for some people, it might be a good banner. So you know, take it with a grain of salt, but in my opinion, this banner is kind of mediocre. Um, there are three standouts. Okay, obviously, <laughs> we got the Gohan, right? We got the Garlic Jr. Easily two of the more exciting... Why is it not loading? That's weird. Well, anyways, these two obviously are great. And then Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is also fantastic still. Like, he is still a top, top tier. TUR, no question. And then everybody else kind of falls in the like realm of like pretty good, quite good, but not great, you know, not amazing. Like these guys are all kind of old. They can still be good, but not amazing. Okay, so these four, it's kind of okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So an overall rating of this banner, I would say. I'd give it like a 7 out of 10, which is like what I said, right? Good, but not great. Um, 
yeah, there are definitely better Dokkan Fest banners out there. There are better Dokkan Fest banners coming up in the future. And um, the value here is... Yeah, it's, it's okay, but not awesome. <laughs> I know I've said that so many times, but that's the best way to describe it, I think. It, it, it's some okay value here. Um, but unless you guys like are missing all of these guys, or at least like 3 out of 4... Uh, it's gonna be a tough recommendation, honestly. It's a bit of a tough recommendation. But like I said, like if you don't have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, it's gonna be hard to not summon. It's gonna be very tempting, right? But Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, honestly, is like one of those units that is deserving of uh, being purchased with coins as well. So if you guys really want him and you can't pull him or you don't want to summon on the banner, I wouldn't hesitate to really buy him with coins because he's worth it, you know? Um, but that's the banner. And I guess that's pretty much it, you guys. Like, that's all there is to really talk about as far as this banner is concerned. Um, like I said, we got less than seven hours to go. By the time this video goes up, uh, it might be five and a half hours. We'll see, right? That's a banner. By the time this video goes up, yeah, there might be like five and a half hours left to go. Or maybe the banner's already out, depending on where you're watching this. But, um, <sighs> my recommendation for this banner. Obviously, at this point, I hope that it's enough information to allow you guys to decide for yourselves what you want to do. But um, I kind of, I kind of feel like most people should skip this banner, man. If I'm being straight up, if I'm being honest, I think most people should skip it because this Gohan, while very good, is not, I think, on the same level as some of the other units coming up, like El Arco Gita like Super Vegeta um, and like the power creep for these new units that are coming out are just like getting kind of ridiculous and at this point I think you have to be a little bit more selective with uh, who you summon for and you know like every new unit that comes out is going to be good but there's different, le different levels right and this guy's just not on the same level like I said as some of the other units coming out so unless you love Gohan unless you really really want him unless you like must have him or the garlic jr like the garlic jr i think is almost like more hype to pull i mean no i, I would still want the gohan more but this guy's like kind of on the same level you know like i really want both um yeah i would say you should consider skipping and also as i said like he's not bringing anything really new in terms of like a category that you must run that you must have a leader skill for because heavenly events is not a category you need to run we need to have so yeah another reason why i don't really feel like you need this guy right now you know like unless you really really want him i don't think you need him so yeah i'm gonna say skip it like most people should skip it but if you need to summon if you must have him do a couple multis but limit yourself you know like two or three three or four maybe and uh call it a day um, so that's that's how I feel about it, man. Like on, honest truth, uh, I'm not trying to crap out the Gohan or anything like that. Right? I'm not saying like I've said many many times he's a very good unit. So take that into consideration first. But then secondly, um, think about what's coming in the future, right? Tech LR Godita is very very close, and then we have the uh, Heroes collab coming. We have the Tech LR Goku. And no, sorry. Uh, the oh, I said Gogeta already. The Super Vegeta, the SDR Super Vegeta, who is insane. And then we have this new Tech Kefla that dropped on JP recently. And then we also have like, well, we have Piccolo and Goku, which is very good, but that's also skippable. Also, a large Nemba. I feel like it's kind of skippable as well. But um, of course, different people have different feelings about different characters. But the point is. I've said too much at this point. Like, I've ran rambled on enough. Uh, final recommendation, guys. I'm gonna say skip. I'm gonna say skip for the average person. If you're a whale, then it doesn't matter because you have the resources, you have the stones, right? But the average person doesn't need to summon this banner. That's just how I feel. So, there you go. Obviously, let me know in the comments down below what you guys plan to do with uh, the Gohan banner when it comes out in five to six hours and uh i will try to be live when it goes live when it goes up but i might not be able to
because I think I'll be doing something at that time. So possibly look out for like tonight or tomorrow morning for that summoning video. And uh, yeah, guys, that's all I gotta say, man. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, how many stones do you plan to spend on the Gohan banner if you spend, if you're gonna be spending any at all? Or are you gonna be skipping like uh, I recommended? It's up to you guys. Let me know. And that's it, guys. That's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, why doesn't this replay automatically? Usually it does. Okay, anyways. Uh, like the video, sub to the channel, hit that notification bell, and as always, if you liked, no! And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.